deep within the warp, the universe where the laws of reality cease to exist, the Chaos Gods dwell each within their own unique realm. The realm of the Blood God is known as the Fortress of Khorne, a scorching hot and smoke filled stronghold built upon a foundation of battle, conflict and blood. Deep within this fortress, Khorne himself dwells within an area known as the Brass Citadel. The Garden of Nurgle is the realm of the Plague God, which is the home to every kind of disease in existence, with the air thick with the stench of rot and decay, filled with millions of fat hairy flies and crawling, grasping demonic plants. Deep within the garden is the Mansion of Nurgle, a building constructed from slime encrusted rotting timbers where the Plague God himself resides. The realm of Slanesh is known as the Six Rings of Pleasure, with each concentric ring personifying a different vice, such as gluttony, greed and carnality. After traversing these rings, one would discover the Palace of Slanesh, which the god of hedonism and pleasure calls home. The domain of Zinch is the Crystal Labyrinth, which is a maddening construction of ever-shifting crystalline architecture, where the laws of time and space are twisted into impossible and incomprehensible forms. At the heart of this maze is the Hidden Library, a repository of knowledge where the god of magic and change himself dwells. While each of the Chaos God's domains are garrisoned by hordes of demonic creatures who are tasked with defending their master's territory from any interlopers who dare to enter these sacred realms, such as by simply slaughtering them in the case of Khorne's demons, or by the demons of Slanesh seducing any trespassers, the Crystal Labyrinth itself is protected by its own illusionary passages, with its glittering crystalline corridors reflecting not only light, but also hope, misery, dreams and nightmares. The Labyrinth also distorts reality and emotion, perverting hope and one's sense of purpose into gibbering insanity and despair, with dozens of hidden passageways built from the very substance of lies and deception opening and closing at Zinch's own whim. Only those with the strongest minds imaginable are even remotely capable of navigating its passages. If one can find the true path through the maze, a traveller may find themselves before each of the nine gates of the labyrinth. These gates are vast golden structures wreathed in ethereal flames of pink and blue. Standing sentinel like some great watchdog at all nine gates at once is a creature known simply as the Guardian. The Guardian will ask any who approach one of the nine gates one of 999 riddles, which are so cryptic in their construction that only the greatest and most logical of minds can even hope to answer them. If the riddle is answered correctly, the gates will open. If they fail, however, the Guardian will devour them. Even the majority of Zinch's own demons are incapable of navigating this maze, with only the Lords of Change, the greater demons of Zinch, being capable of making their way to the Hidden Library safely. And yet, one of the individuals who did manage to navigate the twisted and ever-shifting corridors of the maze was, seemingly, a young girl with a small black dog. When she entered the Hidden Library, even the god Zinch himself was surprised. Zinch questioned the Guardian as to how this child was capable of solving the maze, to which the Guardian would respond by accusing the girl of cheating to do so. So who was this little girl who solved Zinch's maze? One possibility is that this girl was simply an incredibly powerful psyker. Psychers are individuals who are gifted with the ability to tap into the energies of the warp, and in doing so, access an array of powers, including telepathy, telekinesis and biomancy. Not all psychers are equal in their power. While psychers tend to grow more powerful with age as they harness and become used to their abilities, 
there are some rare cases of younger psychers being even more powerful than an adult. One such example is the astropath Altani, who despite being incredibly young, was one of the most potent and powerful psychers within her astropathic choir. This theory is also supported by the possibility that the small dog that accompanied this girl through the maze could in fact be a familiar. Familiars are utilised by psychers from a variety of races in order to augment their powers. Such creatures include cherubs and cyber ravens, which are utilised by psychers within the Imperium, and others include gearings, small cat-like creatures who typically accompany Eldari seers. A more likely possibility is that the girl is in fact a disguise for another individual as opposed to being an actual child. This is supported by the fact that the 4th edition Chaos Demons Codex states that the individual who solved Zincha's maze was in the guise of a little girl, which in turn suggests that this was not their true form. One possibility is that this girl was the psychic avatar of one of Zincha's champions, who sought to solve the Crystal Labyrinth in order to gain their patron god's favour. To achieve immortality in the form of ascending to demonhood, champions of the Chaos Gods are usually required to undertake great tasks, which upon completion may cause the eye of their patron to look upon them, and either transform them into a demon prince or into a mindless chaos spawn. As the god Zinch favours knowledge, guile and magical ability within his followers, then perhaps solving the corridors of the Crystal Labyrinth could gain a champion of Zinch his master's favour, by showing the god that they are the embodiment of everything Zinch admires within his mortal worshippers, and in doing so, finally become a demon prince, gaining immortality and near godlike power in the process. Now while this seems to be a likely possibility, there is another candidate who seems more than likely to be the being who took the guise of a young child in order to solve the Crystal Labyrinth. A being that is the pinnacle of humanity's own physical and psychic evolution. The Emperor of Mankind. The Emperor was the most powerful psyker of the human species to have ever existed, with only Malkador the Sigilite and the Primarch of the Thousand Suns Legion, Magnus the Red, coming anywhere close to him in terms of sheer psychic power, although their power was still eclipsed by the Emperor's own psychic might. During the Dark Age of Technology, the Emperor of Mankind travelled to the world of Molek, where a Chaos Gate had been uncovered. The Emperor entered the gate before emerging moments later with new powers, such as the knowledge to begin the Primarch project. Several millennia later, the Archtraitor Horus Lupercal would also enter this Chaos Gate in order to obtain the powers that the Emperor himself acquired by performing various tasks for the Chaos Gods themselves. It's heavily implied that the Emperor himself made a bargain with the Chaos Gods in order to obtain supplemental powers in addition to his own. As such, the Emperor could have also been forced to undertake certain labours at the behest of the Chaos Gods. One such labour could have simply been to solve Zincha's maze, which the Emperor completed by taking the form of a young girl to mock the God of Change, by insinuating that the maze was so easy for him to solve that even a child could have done so. But the other possibility is that the Emperor simply stole his powers from the Dark Gods and used the guise of a little girl in an attempt to hide his true identity, although the Ruinous Powers would have surely recognised this child as the being they call the Anathema due to its sheer psychic might. Who do you think the child of the Crystal Labyrinth was? Leave a comment below, and thanks for watching.